was born, his father started playing men's modified pitch softball, setting a path for Ed Summers and lifelong involvement with softball. Ed's own adult career began in 1976 and ran 31 years to 2011. Sponsored for Ed's teams were Culligan's and Corky's, Sherm's Inn, Triangle, LSI Triangle, and TNT. These teams span 21 years of Ed's career. Ed promoted softball wherever possible. He was a player, coach, and organizer of teams, leagues, and tournaments. His teams were very competitive in the 80s and 90s. His teams played in 11 state tournament championship games and won six state titles in four different decades. The first of Ed's state titles in 1980 was one with a team that included his dad as the pitcher and all four of Ed's brothers as starters. Then the sixth and final state trip and title came full circle for Ed. It was the team he co-coached with the son. Ed played in eight nationals for, from Spokane, Washington to Waterville, Maine. His team won two national tournaments. The 1985 10-man national in Green Bay where Ed was named tournament MVP and the 1987 nine-man national in Columbia, Maryland. During the first 21 years of Ed's uh, teams, they won 862 games and lost 275. A winning percentage of 758. For every team he organized, Ed kept stats. Pages and pages of paper and barrels of ink. There were no computers in those days. He recorded every at-bat. Retirement did take uh, for Ed in the early 90s. He returned to play full-time in 1999 when his brothers-in-law asked him to coach and pitch for Donahue Harley Davidson. They won the 2001 B-State Championship. Ed finished his playing career as an assistant coach with his son's team, Jay and Jay Glass. They won the Tier 2 State Championships in 2010. The retirement in 2011 took at least a, a head so far. Ed, yeah, I don't know. Ed served as Delano's Modified Pitch League Director for eight years. He was also a member of the Minnesota Sports Federation Board of Directors for two terms in the 80s. Ed enjoyed learning the administrative side of organized sports and officials. Ed mentored the next generation of players. His years as a mentor helped him realize what was most important. Ed stated, this is a quote, I used to think winning was everything, but I see now it was the friendships and the camaraderie that made 31 years of softball so enjoyable. Please welcome a modified pitch guy to the Minnesota Softball Hall of Fame. this is a softball gallery and when I think softball I always think team and I always say it's always about the team um, when recently when I got the, the call from the commissioner about the Hall of Fame I had a chance to reflect on some of the softball memories and man those were some fun times um, as it said I played 31 years uh, we played 11 state championship games uh, we won six titles in, um, in four decades I played in eight nationals and we won two national titles I was MVP in one of those um, but uh, one thing about the team, for me it's also been about the family. Um, in 1980 when we won our first championship, I was a 21 year old catcher, my dad was a pitcher, three brothers in the infield, brother in center field and brother-in-law in right field. Thinking back, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, in the late 80s and 90s, we won the three more state championships and the two nationals. Um, same formula with family, only now I have two first cousins on the team and I have what I would call my softball family. And these guys are friends of mine that I played 15 to 20 years with. Um, during that same time, my daughter was a teenager and she was keeping the book for us. Um, and she would follow me around with the clipboard. And if you ever watch the show MASH, you kind of get why the team would call her radar. <laughs> and for me, that was just a fun family memory. Um, after a few years of retirement, um, my youngest brother-in-law did ask me to come back and help pitch and coach for his team. And we did win my fifth title in 2001. And really coming full, full circle, 
Um, in 2010, my son now is a pitcher of his 20-year-old team, and they allowed me to coach their base for him. Um, I was voted in as a player, coach, and promoter of Modified. As a player, my wife, um, who's been there since the beginning, thinks I'm qualified. God bless her. Um, <laughs> as a coach, you heard most of my resume. As a promoter of Modified, I, I was a lead director for, seven, for eight years in Delmo, and I was a member of the Minnesota Sports Federation Board of Directors for two two-year terms in the 80s. Um, but promoting Modified was in my blood as a youngster. My dad was a, a I would go and watch my dad's team with his brothers, my uncles, and uh, dad was a pitcher and he would throw that riser and it'd just float and dance. I, I watched my two oldest brothers win three of the first four state modified championships, and I was hooked. I absolutely loved the game of modified. I want to thank my, uh, my family and my softball family, because without them, I would not be here. Uh, so thank you guys. Thank you, Perry. Thank you, committee. I, I'm truly honored. I want to 